Corinthians 1 through 17. Paul called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and our brother Sotheonis, to the church of God in Corinth, to those sanctified in Christ Jesus and called to be holy people, together with all those everywhere who call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace and peace unto you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank my God for you because of His grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in Him you have been enriched in every way, with all kinds of speech and with all knowledge, God thus confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Therefore you do not lack any spiritual gifts, as you encouragingly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will also keep you firm to the end, so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, God is faithful, who has called you into fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. My brothers and sisters, some from Chilo's household have informed me that there are quarrels among you. What I mean is this. One of you says, I follow Paul. Another, I follow Apollos. Another, I follow Cephas. Still another, I follow Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God I did not baptize any of you except Sephirius and Jaius. <laughs> so no one can say that you were baptized in my name. Yes, I also baptized the household of Stephanus. Beyond that, I don't remember if I baptized anyone else. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom and eloquence, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power.